In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use a Monzo virtual card. It's a very quick and easy process, so make sure to follow along. For this video, I'm going to assume that you all have already created a Monzo virtual card through the latest version of the app. But if you still need to, all that you have to do, like I mentioned previously, is to use the latest version of their mobile app and you will be able to create virtual cards when you go over to your account dashboard, select your cards and you tap the option to create a new virtual card. You can have up to five virtual cards at one time, so keep that in mind. Once your virtual card is properly created, all that you have to do is access it from your active virtual cards and immediately upon tapping the card, you will see all the details necessary for you to start using your Monzo virtual card. Using it is extremely simple. You can either copy the card details that are displayed at the bottom of your screen, so the card number, expiration date and security code, and also the name printed on the card, and this will allow you to easily use the card anywhere that credit or debit cards are accepted. Alternatively, you can also add the card to a digital wallet. So if you are on an Android device, you will see the option to add the card to a Google Wallet or Google Pay. And if you are on an iOS device, you will see the button to add the card to Apple Wallet so you can use it alongside Apple Pay. Regardless of which option you choose, copying the card details manually and inputting them during checkout after you select credit or debit card as a payment method or adding the card to a digital wallet, you will be able to use it when you proceed to checkout and choose this as the option. As long as you proceed using the digital wallet and the payment service of your choice, or choosing credit or debit card, you will be good to go. If you encounter any issues while trying to do this, double check to see if your virtual card is properly set up, that you have enough balance, and as long as it is not frozen, you will be able to complete any online purchases during checkout. I hope I was able to help you on how to use Monzo Virtual Card. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more quick and easy tips. Thank you for watching.